I also, however, I tweak this depending on the artist. So right. all these notches here are not 100%. So right. once I hear the vocal, then I'll go in here and tweak is what I need to tweak. Right. So, um, and, and, and when you say all those notches are not 100 percent, it depends on the room, the microphone, the the artist, the vocalist, the preamp, you know, all those kind of things like that. You just for you all that, that do not know, it's like what you know, uh, all all fixed EQ is not going to work in all sessions. Yeah, yeah, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah, never. yeah, yeah. So then um, after that, I just have a R box just to bring everything a little up to the front, the basic stuff. This is all. You can find all this on YouTube. Hey, waves. Hey, <laughs> there's no, hey. there's no excuse. Like there's, yeah. there's no excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a G channel here, just boosting a little bit of highs. Okay, okay. And doing some filtering. I had to split because I went it before everything else. Right. Uh, another compressor here. I have this pull tech. I'm boosting a lot of highs here. I like, um, the way it boosts the highs. Um, I'm okay. boosting 12k a yeah. lot. Okay. Again, depending on the artist, but most of the time I never have to touch this. Right. Okay. Okay. And obviously we need a de-esser to tame those harshness. Right. And, um, this is my pro, my final pro cue here. Okay. Which is where the only thing I'm doing here is subtraction, and by okay. subtraction I mean I'm taking out anything harsh. Okay. Okay. So I'll basically scan, see what I don't like, and I'll just bring it down. And I can also make it dynamic, mm -hmm. so that it's not taking out all the time only when i needed to right right and uh, if you go down here this is my this is where the two track will go okay so i'll literally just drag it in here and i have a pro q to tame because a lot of these youtube beats are crazy <laughs> <laughs> facts facts crazy. so facts on top of facts i am taking out a lot some most of the time the eq would look like this okay okay because I'm, I'm trying to make room for the vocal Right, so right. You know that that eight away is like out the roof. <laughs> right, so right. I'm looking that down with some dynamics, and then just anything else I find harsh, mostly around here because this is where the vocal would sit a lot. Right. So um, I would just take that, and then this is just that's just there. It looks cool. Right. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> um, auto auto key here. This is this is. A much needed thing if an yeah. artist is coming into the studio and they want to work you got to make sure you get the key as fast as you can because right if they get on that mic and that key is not right they will kick you out right 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 so i use this to find the key i also hit listen twice because it'll give you an answer the 